Dustin, throughout the time we are filming for our followers, we have been eating like a lot of good food Absolutely. and drink, but we never tried to recreate them ourselves. Yes, so today we decided to come to the market, grocery store, supermarket, or an inside market. There's so many ways to describe this. Yeah, I do have some very good friends to, to bring them over and help us with this. Okay, because it's two men, uh, our culinary skills are not the best, so we need some assistance today. Yeah. Amber, Xin Chao, Tracy, Amber, hello. Finally, you're here. Okay, so she's the expert chef. She's going to be helping us. She brought her child along. <laughs> she's going to help us too. Yes, yeah, so it'll be a very interesting experience. Sure. So, okay. I'm not a pro, but I think I can help you out. Sal, before yeah. you told us you were a pro, but now you're not. <laughs> what, what do you have in mind? I'm thinking of... Um, Bun Tao. Bun Tao is lovely. I love it. Yeah. I have no idea. You know Kombi? what that is? Kombi. Kombi. <laughs> so it's the first thing on the list. It's chicken salad. Amber, you like to have some dessert or snack to go with? And we can go shop. And before that, I think we're making um, Amber's favorite snack. Amber face snack? That is crispy, crispy salmon. Yeah. Are you excited? I want to eat it now. You want to eat it now? No. <laughs> to make bun tang, I already prepared some ingredients that we won't be able to find in the supermarket. Like rice noodles. Okay. Uh, and um, fish sauce. Fish sauce. Yeah. You can't find fish sauce at a market in Vietnam? There's a special type of fish sauce. Okay, so Amber. special type. Is okay. it is it okay. mam tom? Mam tom, yes. It's not fish sauce. Uh, what is mam tom? Shrimp paste. Mam tom, gay wa? Terrible. It's terrible. We can put it aside. Oh. We can put no. it aside. Like, uh, oh, there's eggs. We need eggs too. I wanna. You wanna hold it? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't break it. Don't break them. <laughs> so you got eggs, some fish. Yeah, we need some. Oh, salmon. There's some salmon there. Okay, so salmon. So you, do you need a fillet of salmon or a whole fillet fish? Salmon, okay, yeah. so get a fillet right here. I think we'll grab that a bigger one. one? Yeah. A bigger one. Okay, you got it. Let's grab the bigger one. Swap. So sometimes maybe if you have a child, a child is a picky eater. A picky eater is someone who is very choosy. They don't want to eat this, don't want to eat this. So we have to cater to the picky eater. We got to make sure she's happy. In this episode. Tracy's son, Rooney Nguyen, also a native English speaker, will join us and act as a little host of the show. He's so talented. Rooney will help me explain word phrases and idioms to you. We'll catch him right now. Picky eater. What is a picky eater? A picky eater is a person who is not open-minded at all. He goes rambling all day, you know, for an example, if you have rice in front of him, he, he, he's, he's very picky and uh, he or she will say, no, I don't like rice, I like this or that. That's a picky eater. So, since we have a grocery list, a grocery list, we know everything we want. But if you were to come to a grocery store and you have no idea what you want, you would get items off the top of your head. Off the top of your head, you just kind of figure something out, you put something together and you just grab it, similar to winging it. Off the top of one's head is coming up with an idea that just comes off from your head. For an example, right now, an idea that's going through my head is Mm, playing the piano or doing the Rubik's Cube coming off from my head. Okay, so we got mayonnaise, the filet salmon, seaweed snacks? Seaweed snacks. Okay, seaweed? You like seaweed? Yes. Yes. She loves yes. Okay, she loves so that. Eggs, teriyaki. Your favorite food in the world. We need some sugar and flour. Sugar and flour. Why would it be? What? Yeah. 
winging it. Winging it is you haven't prepared for that occasion, so you're just gonna go in and try your best. An example is that you have a test at school and you haven't been learning. You've been too lazy playing games or doing other things instead of practicing for your test. So you're just going to go inside the classroom and try your best for the test. That's winging it. So we're picking up a lot of vegetables. Many people in Vietnam, they'll say vitamin, but we say vitamin and minerals because these things are healthy for us and maybe low in calories because this is going to be a light meal. Compared to a heavy meal, it's not going to have a lot of calories and it'll be kind of lighter than something very greasy or oily. So we just got back from the market here and we're going to be cooking some Vietnamese food, but what it is, I don't know. What are we making? Uh, we're making Vietnamese chicken noodles. So chicken noodles. It's called bún thang. Bún thang. Bún thang. Bún thang. Okay. So it's new for me. So what are the ingredients? So of course we need chicken. Okay, so chicken. Mm -hmm. um, rice noodles. Rice noodles. Uh, Vietnamese pork sausage. Okay, so Vietnamese pork sausage. Um, here, I'm going to show you all the herbs that we need to use. So first, spring onions. Okay, so we need some spring onions or green onions, so all of them? Yes, all okay. of them. Okay, what else? And we need um, pepper and lime. Okay, some chilies and limes, all of it? All of it. All of it, okay. <laughs> so everything here. So how about some lettuce? Uh, we, we, we need it later. Cucumber? <laughs> no. Carrots? Mm -mm. Nope, onion? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, salt. So everything she's grabbing here, you can call them herbs and spices. And so sugar. salt, pepper, sugar, spices, and maybe some other things here. Herbs to add some spice excitement to your recipe. Right now, Amber is mixing the eggs, but she's using a tool called a whisker. So the verb is whisking. So she cracked the egg. You have the egg yolk, which is the yellow part, and the egg white is the part around the yolk. Many people ask me this. You fry it. Yeah. Fry it? Yeah, do you fry it in the oven, or do you fry it on a stove, or do you fry it in the refrigerator? Yeah. On a pan, dom rai. Yeah, how thin do you want them? As thin as possible? You can do it. Okay, I'll try. So, so slice is the action of doing this. It's similar to cut, but she wants it as thin as possible. So for me, I maybe, I don't really care that much when it comes to cooking. So very, very, very thin, I have to slice this. Tracy, is this okay or thinner? That's it, that's it. Really, it's okay? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna go to the kitchen and prepare. Okay, no problem. Yeah, but yeah, during the time, my friend Dustin and your mommy in the kitchen. We just wanna do something meaningful and spend a little bit of time with the piano. We just wanna take our mind off the food. Take um, our mind off the food. Yeah, like take my mind off food is doing something to distract myself from eating. From eating, yeah. Yes, and food in general. So we're playing the piano to take our minds off no. of eating and yeah. food. So would you like to play some for me so I can sing along with yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll play the melody and you sing. And you go along. Yeah. I go along with you, though. Em là ai vừa đâu bước đến nơi đây Dịu dàng chân phương Em tựa như anh, anh đang bàn mai Ngọt ngào trong xưa Because I don't know the song. Ngâm em thật lâu Con tim anh yêu mềm đắm say từ phút đó từng mơ chưa thêm. Getting something off one's mind. Let's say um, you're too, you're, 
you're too concentrated on the piano or something, um, or eating, let's say. Uh, you need to you need something to distract you from it, so you could take a break from it. Um, so if I play the piano too much and you know I need to get it out of my head for a while, I would uh, probably sit down and read a nice calm book or sing a song. So what's next? <coughs> okay, so we need to grab this dry turnip here. What is this? So I already is a dry turnip. Okay. So they shred them really th thin as well. Okay, so we already had those pre-shredded. Mm -hmm. They're pre-shredded and I soak them into the water. The verb of shredding, so we have slice and we have cut, but shred is to make things into very small pieces, so smaller pieces. So the thing is we have the meat already cut up, but if we were to shred it, we make it into smaller, smaller pieces. Chicken, sal. Sal. Okay. <laughs> Easy, easy, a piece of cake. It's very easy. Okay. So this is the final product? Mm -hmm, it is. This okay. Is this is our final product. So today I learned how to make boon tan. Yeah, you just did boon it. Boon tan. Okay, I just Pretty did it. Everything. But I probably could not duplicate this and do it again in Ho Chi Minh uh, because I would probably fail. But okay. So let's keep making some more. So do you have another bowl for me? So I think Tracy's doing a pretty good job. She has to teach me how to do quite a bit because I know how to cook, but not really cook Vietnamese food. You're laughing at me. Is this okay? <laughs> Absolutely, this is okay. Okay, so maybe sao. All right, so that's it? That's it. Okay, so now we eat or clean up a little bit? Go eat first. Okay, go eat. All right. Yeah, so we had a, a food that was made from scratch today because we went to the market earlier. And it's all homemade. So it's made with love. And that's something passion. that's very... Passion. Yes, absolutely. So it's something that's very, very important. But he's going to be the new host for this show. So he's practicing right now. So. <laughs> making something from scratch is basically just making something from the beginning of it till the end. For an example, let's say I make a hot dog. So I'd get the bun, I'd go to the market first, I'd buy the ingredients such as a bun and uh, the sausage, and then I put everything together from scratch till it's perfectly done. So I, I know in Ting Viet you say simai. simai yes. In English, what do we say? Um, good. Enjoy your meal. Good yeah, just enjoy. Good <laughs> just enjoy. Yeah, eat up. Just enjoy. Are you going to eat? Thank you so much for helping Amber <laughs> Good appetite um, is a word generally used before dinner, before lunch, or before any meal if um, anybody is there with you. Um, Good appetite is a good word to say to people around you when you're about to eat. It uh, shows them that you really care for them and um, you want them to enjoy the meal too. Again, today this is something that's um, good for everyone to experience at home. And VTV7 is very, very curious what type of food you guys eat. So if you want to leave a comment what your favorite food is, but in English, not Ting Viet. So try to translate some of your favorite Vietnamese foods below. So we're going to enjoy. You guys have a fantastic night. Have Find something you love to eat. And leave a comment. So we want to know. Right. This is my eat up. Okay. So I eat.